Capricorn, our father, who, ha- who aren't in heaven. Something to do with um, probably having to go to church. See, last week was um, take me to church. So somebody could be taking somebody to church because somebody could have lost a father or lost a mother. But the Father, the Son, the Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Somebody's lost quite a few people just lately. If you've been following my channel because your message is exactly the same. One of your events that you might be coming up this week is that where you might be asked to go to a funeral. And this is also going to church. Because uh, I'm hearing that um, our Father who are in heaven. So someone's father is already in heaven. Um, so, But you've also got where it could be visiting a crematorium. Or somebody that you know of could have passed. But because I'm also calling out the numerology of six, which be Capricorn, you can also watch a uh, Gemini and it might be involved, but it doesn't matter whether it be your sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter because it's also the numerology of six. Okay, so you're looking at Capricorn, Gemini energy, life path or personal year. Um, but I'm definitely hearing uh, our father who are in heaven. So I don't know. I mean, it could even be the fact that you're going to a funeral. They keep saying a funeral service. So you could really have a lot to do with around a four, uh, which would be a Scorpio. Um, but like, uh, yeah, physical pain because it's been coming up. It's, it, the, the code that I pretty much said, if you've been watching the channel, if you haven't, very important is to watch the video uh, below, which is explaining about how I read and stuff like that. And then on the community tab, there's the Akashic Records Book of Knowledge and the Book of Death. Unfortunately, I don't know whether that be a, uh, a gift or something that's extremely difficult, which is the Book of Life and also the Book of Death. So uh, a lot of names that I've called out, they've all come true, for, unfortunately. Okay, so you have a lot of that around you in your energy here. I'm also hearing the name Andrew. Andrew, there could be somebody that's called Andrew that could be very ill. Okay, you're really going to have to know when you're watching my channel, unfortunately, but I'm definitely hearing the name Andrew, or from Ansfield, somebody from Ansfield, or Andertons, someone from Andertons, the name Rob, uh, but you've got illness, and you've got things that are now coming through, through Sagittarius energy, that uh, was that reading, um, which is also a five, so you've kind of got this um, Sagittarius Taurus energy, You've kind of got this ill will. Some wills are being drawn up. The name William is also another person of another name. Don't worry if your name's Will. But I am definitely hearing a William could be ill. Or a uh, uh, a few names. But a will could well be given to a person through this time. Of where it's relating a lot to like funerals that could be uh, coming up. They could be where, like I said, you could be coming to... I'm hearing to the end of the road, but I can go on. You belong to me, I belong to you. Boys to men, something to do with boys to men, or the name boys, boydy or boys, boydy or boys, okay, uh, of a name, but something here around being called up and asked to go to a funeral or things that you've noticed within the family that could have been lost here, because I'm definitely picking up one of your relations that you may know of. If it's not a relation, it's a friend. But I definitely keep hearing like this biblical book of um, uh, clergymen, like having to go to church and stuff like that. It did come up for your monthly or one of your weeklies where it was, take me to church. But um, yeah, Churchill, something like that. Church, Churchill, Chell, Michelle, Michelle or Michelle. But uh, having to go to church, this could even be where you're visiting a crematorium of where it could be where it's somebody's birthday. But that would be Taurian energy or five. So you're looking at Sagittarius Taurus. Sorry if I'm confusing people at the moment, but kind of going through this matrix code at the moment. And I'm really, uh, really going through it at the moment in my head of trying to figure out these things that I've been told. Uh, so something to do with Stephen, the thing. Steve could be involved. It could be me because I'm a Gemini moon. Um, so yeah, Steve, there could be a Steve that's asked to go to something and it is like crematorium or funeral. And I think if I'm honest, I think a lot of you have probably witnessed a hell of a lot of things that are going on around illness. Uh, and I don't think it's, uh, COVID-19 related. I think these are natural causes. There seems to be a lot of, uh, if I'm honest and I can say it bluntly, death in your energy. I don't mean yourselves. I just mean externally as an energy of your your uh, calling for this uh, week 
is around uh, being asked to go in order to say an eulogy. I did bring that up, I think, in your reading, one of the weeklies or the monthly, of an eulogy that was being drawn up or written. And if that hadn't happened then and you watched it and it has happened now, that is pretty much the time that has now come. Because they're saying the time has now come to pass, which means that you're giving your respects to somebody that has just passed on. The time has come to pass, the name Parsons also... I'm sorry if I'm freaking people out, okay, I really do, but again, is that a gift or is it not? Because I believe that life and death are part and parcel of exactly the same thing, and that when we pass, we leave things on, okay? So I am picking up like a house, or a home, or a company, or I don't think a company or business, well maybe, but I'm definitely picking up that somebody has come to pass, pass on, the name Parsons, when this person passes, because they're saying that they probably haven't yet, they're saying when this person passes, I think a lot of you, you've probably been watching a lot of my stuff just lately, maybe. If you haven't, I really recommend watching some of the stuff on the community tab, okay, uh, and keep up with the death list that I kind of said about, okay, uh, because it is very much present in your energy, very much present in Scorpio energy, and it also just kind of flickered through in the Sagittarius energy too, okay. Uh, now I'm, hey, I'm hearing Libra now. Libra is involved here. There is a Steve also that is a Libra that is also very ill at this time. Okay, and unfortunately if you are watching from my town, I'm sorry, but that is also a name that I've also been given. Okay, uh, I also heard Percy or Shaw, somebody Shaw. Uh, Gary also, okay, Gary Shaw or Gary. Uh, there is also a name of Tina. If I'm calling these names out, I'm sorry, but I can't relate to every person that may be involved in this because the names are also involved. Okay, uh, so I'm hearing ev evolution or Evie or Devi or uh, Ev Stev Stevros or uh, someone. Uh, yeah, Ross. The name Ross. Ross. I think I said Ross Kemp. Also, uh, someone that's very camp. Someone that's also from London. Also, which would be Ross Kemp, which would be EastEnders. So uh, somebody from London is also uh, in this energy of a message, I'm not sure. Uh, again, I keep hearing the name Shaw, 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 Shaw. Okay, anybody, anybody that has the name of Shaw, okay. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Robbie, Rob, Island, Pub, Dangia. <laughs> can't give you, I can't send this to you. But uh, again, Robbie, a funeral that I, somebody that was Irish that passed on. Robbie is also in this energy. Funeral. I think the funeral, I'm not sure if the funeral's already been or not, I'm not sure. Uh, again, I'm not sure. So I'm saying I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. There is another person here of sure here, of Gary or sure. Tina, Tina. Steve and Tina. Steve and Tina. Two names there. Steve and Tina. Okay, someone also from Argentina. Okay, um, I don't know what these messages, again, I'm sorry if I freak people out, but I, I, I don't know what this means to you. Uh, I'm hearing uh, more than words, more than words. So it's going to take more than words in order to be able to accomplish getting over this. I feel a lot of you, so coming out of those messages, Capricorn, because you, you've got a lot of visits to like church and things like this. Anything that is biblical, anything that is also being asked in order to go and give an eulogy. People that have passed, people that you may know, I'm definitely hearing Parsons, I'm hearing anything to do with also a Pisces, Putchy, Paula could be involved also, but I'm hearing uh, P's, P, 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 okay, P, P, I, which would mean uh, P, P, I, uh, accident, and what you, when, you know when P, P, I, they keep ringing you up saying about, you can get a claim or something, you might get a phone call from P, P, I, so I don't know if there is a uh, claim insurance of like something that is coming up around your car or home and it isn't to do with insurance like an insurance policy and somebody here that has lost a person they may be getting like a life insurance because i'm hearing life expectancy but uh, i'm hearing life insurance also an insurance policy that could be left which is also a p or putchy or somebody that left a uh, a, a policy or left an insurance policy for a person for like house home and sorting out like the will okay now i don't know if this is involving a person of past present and future called will or william okay but there is something here around these energies of passing 
but also leaving stuff too because whatever goes comes right so whatever is gone leaves something behind right so it's like I'm leaving my uh, legacy so I'm leaving my legacy behind to someone which would be like a house a business and whatever it is that somebody may well have built up after so many years paying off which is like a mortgage and so on and so forth it's a legacy that somebody leaves behind okay a leg a leg a leg a leg <laughs> hopefully nobody leaves a leg behind I don't know what that's for that really is not funny but why am I hearing that I'm gonna leave a leg behind a leg unless it's a name Peggy 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 oh okay okay man why do I have to contact these 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 oh, man, Peggy Kilby okay Okay, these are people, man, that are really close to me at the moment. Well, not at the moment, but they're very close in my soul groups. And like I said, I'm doing Capricorn, but I'm also a six, which is a Gemini. Peggy Kilby. Okay. Peggy Kilby. Uh, Kimberly. I'm also hearing the name Kim or Kimberly. Okay, Kim or Kimberly. For some reason, I'm picking up that uh, fighter of Kimberly. Kimball? Kimball. Campbell, also Campbell. The name Campbell. Okay, Campbell. Cam, also. Cameron or Cam? Cam. Sorry if these are names and I've been talking biblical and like passing on. I'm sorry if they are because, like I said, out here, they can be spirits that have left already, people that have names that are coming through. The book of names that can also be people that are, I'm sorry, that could well be passing. People that also that have passed. People that have left home, they've left a legacy to people. Okay, all of these names and all of these energies are representing a message. Is it's just that because I don't know or may not have known or think that I know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is past, present or future, okay? It's very, it's very difficult for, for well, every, all of you guys, man, you all should know about time, right? So you've kind of got that, right? And I'm hearing time after time. When you walk, when you left, when you will find me. Virgo, time after time. So to the Virgo, you left, well you left. So I'm hearing that a Virgo probably walked out on somebody here and they said, well you left, if you went, then why did you go, Wendy? Or uh, Witten, somebody Witten, Mandy Witten. Yeah, all right, how's your throat anyway? Y'all probably don't know that you got, well, you are a Gemini. There you go, Gemini Capricorn. Mandy, you're right. How did the doctors go with your throat? Okay, uh, I would like to know, okay? Uh, just make sure that you're okay. Um, but you see, make sure that you're okay. They're saying, just make sure that you're okay. So, something to do with around this, around doctors that you could have coming up. And it could have anything also to do with around what I have coming up on the 18th, which is in a few days, because we are now time-wise looking at the 12th, I think it is. I can't quite see over there. Uh, my eyes, man, they're not what they used to be. I just looked from this one. <laughs> but I think it's 12, so you could be dealing with a Piscean somewhere here, or a three. Trainer, Tina, Trina, Trainer, Traitor, Traitor. Something to do with the Pisces in reverse. It came up through Sagittarius reading. Okay, something to do with a Traitor, or Trainer, a Trainer, physical Trainer. Uh, trainer, Trainer, Trainer. Uh, some people are saying about life coach things, so life coach trainer. <coughs> um, but something to the coach, stagecoach here, I'm picking up a stagecoach or like a, uh, a hearse. I'm also picking up like a black hearse also and a coach and a trip of, I don't know, are these people where you rent out like a car <coughs> for this thing that comes up and it's like a, a, a van or a coach? The name Van or v Vanity, Van, Van, Van. I'm saying Van, something to do with a van. Okay, or Van Helsing. <laughs> Van Helsing? Van Helsing! <laughs> the sink. Van Helsing. Anyway, coming out of those, those messages are there quite clear for you. Okay. <coughs> Foo Fighters also. In the clear. So, something to do with the clinic. Some of you might be like me, you have to go to the doctors in order to get CPAP and breathing and all that kind of thing. If you've watched Angel Radio, you notice that three of them are all been about breathing and Virgo qualities of energy. Purgatory, if you've listened to Angel Radio, I can breathe, the dance track, the one before that that was very emotional about breathing, okay, about give up the ghost, the ghost, Virgo energy, 
so ghost ghosting some of you are pretty much just like not speaking to a partner and you've ghosted each other some of you this is about having to give up the ghost okay and it is around this energy of any of these messages that are relating to you because we're definitely looking at purgatory energy here unfortunately capricorn and we're, we're looking at before i pass on i need to leave a statement in order to be able to leave it to you which is a letter uh, a statement of leaving like will and leaving like uh, financial stuff in order for you to be okay you've got this letter that is being drawn up of someone that's trying to write a letter to a parent or someone because they may not be able to get there and they're writing a letter to the person there are things that are being drawn up also biblically here is what I'm hearing are things that are being drawn up of a list you might have even done that yourself but like uh, a list you see unfortunately Melissa I'm also hearing the name Melissa but like a list of things, okay, a list of things to do, to-do list, bucket list. See, I'm hearing a bucket list. There are certain things that I want to do before I go. So unfortunately, in your energy, you've got some people that have gone, some people that are ill, and some people that are actually uh, could well of a list of, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Capricorn, but of a... <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm not laughing, but I'm just kind of like, I, chi I keep, I chi, something to do with I chi, but um, I, I keep coming up in my head of being given this gift, but then I'm trying to get used to this, and now, like, suddenly it's like I've opened up this book of death, and suddenly, I'm, <laughs> suddenly, life has no meaning to me, there's beauty of the world. But again, you've got these nostalgic feelings here. Uh, but like I said, guys, I'm sorry, but it, it, it's a gift, but it also comes with a price. Anything that you do, uh, price, anything anybody also call price here. Anybody call price? Price? The price is right. <laughs> but like uh, the name right or price here, price. Um, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> is it I mean what do you guys think honestly but uh, again Jen Julia Jason Justin Jasmine also evolved here um, anyway coming out of the very bleak energies here or the name oblique or bleak 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 okay bleak Sikh somebody that is a Sikh somebody that wears a turban or something like a Sikh Sorry for my ignorance, I just don't understand that, but I'm hearing like a Sikh or bleak or something like that, or a Sikh, okay? Uh, Sikhins, I'm also picking up Sikhins, the name Sikhins, okay? Uh, actually, I know somebody called Sikhins, um, but yeah, Sikhins, the name Sikhins, okay? Uh, kins, also next of kin, you see? Somebody is trying to leave something to a next of kin. They're, they're going through family things, and uh, it's being an energy here that is kind of like who gets what. Because there could be siblings, like brothers and sisters, that are been left behind here. And there is something of like, um, of like next of kin. Like who takes over the business? Who takes over the company? Who gets what? So if people haven't passed, that's what this person is writing down. If somebody has passed, that's what two people are the same too. It's evolving around someone that could have a life path to healing to healing year two or a Libra, but like a Libra involved here, okay? Somebody that is like writing up a list of things of, of one, a bucket list that they would like to do before they go or something of a will that they might like somebody to have in the family or who gets what. Really picking up papers being drawn up of... Uh, a death certificate the, the death list if you haven't watched my video where I put out the death list where I said there's more but I didn't really want to say there is more to come there is more to come okay so Morecambe wise Morecambe Dr. Morse yeah doctors appointments doctors hospitals Morse remorse you see I'm in remorse I'm in recovery, someone's in recovery of remorse or in recovery of addiction of some kind also. So part of the family, I pick up a unit which of people that some may be like, uh, well I mean when you get a church and you get things, you get people that turn up. 
and I feel that some people are like on morphine and stuff like that or going through addiction and these people that turn up because I'm picking up like a well I'm picking up that energy of someone that may turn up that is on like a morphine drip or someone that could be like like in also recovery or so which is going to be another shock so family and they're worried about the person that may be addicted to certain energies and then when these dramatic things keep happening it's kind of like we're now my main focus is on this person's recovery but we're also now main concern about this person's drug recovery of whether they're going to recover from something that could have happened drug related or actually their recovery of trying to give up alcohol or drugs and when these dramatic things come out and happen it's very big energies of relapse and stuff like that can be there so if you've ever really suffered through addiction and things just be forewarned and forescorned that those energies are there that when dramatic things come up in your life trust me i've been there when dramatic things come up in your life don't let the remorse make you go fully on to drink or alcohol because they're saying that what has gone has gone but there could well be more okay there could well be more so because i'm picking up like patience here temperance which is sagittarius there could be more okay more people so i don't know what this is a case of because britain funnily enough just now within another week we're all now coming out of complete and utter lockdown and we can actually go around people's houses and sit at their table and go into pubs and restaurants and sit across from one another they're quite confident in that but the only problem is with me channeling these messages is as I don't know if this is fear or if it is related to this energy. I don't think it is. I think it's okay, but I am picking up this energy of like, we're now getting back on our feet after recovery, which is a long road that I feel a lot of us have gone through. Uh, like I said, it can also be like COVID related. It could be getting back out into society and believing that, that like, fucking educating my mind back into society it could be like recovery of an addiction of now educating my mind back into like feeling normal again you've got energies of people that have broke up and split up and like a huge cycle of loss here whether it be endings physically metaphysically or whatever and trying to recover from literal like illnesses recover from breakups and recover from the huge scorpio energy that happened astrology wise where just before that were happening, I was saying about all of these happenings, Prince Philip ended up being a Capricorn rising, but he was a six of Gemini, so whether he was a Capricorn rising or not, he would have come up in that six, which was Gemini, which was the end, which was the end but the beginning for me of an old way, of now in a new way of my head, that is now looking at these patterns of where that triggered something off in me that gave me this book of death and this list and unfortunately, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> right, what do you think? But I mean, trust me, I am, I am no party that is not in, ever involved in any of these messages, right? So again, me, I don't fear death because I am Scorpio rising, North Node, and also 12, right? So <laughs> I'm stuck between like a rock and a hard place of my actual star sign being Pisces. So, um, you know, You've got these DNA patterns. They're saying something about DNA. D D uh, D D D D. Dan Dina Dana. Din De Dana Devil Dina Dana Dan 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 Dan. Dad Dad. Someone's with someone's dad. Somebody could have really lost someone's father here. Their dad. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or or possibly looking at maybe losing one's father here. This also relates to one of my friends where I said Dan, which is now Dale. Dale. Dale Pashir, that's also another funeral that will be coming up. My apologies, Dale, if you are watching. Much respect to you, my friend. Just lost his wife to cancer. I think you had two or three children. I don't think you watch this channel, but your name has been coming up. Dale, okay, Dale. That was Dale Winton, sorry, not Dale Winton. So yeah, Dale P, which would be Pashir, okay. So uh, yeah, Shia Khan also, some of Shia Khan. Or like Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. <laughs> but like, do you want a Shaka Khan? But like, um, or Shaq. Love Shaq, Jack, Jackie, Jackson, Julian, Jackson. Jacksonville. Uh, so these people could just be involved, okay? But uh, is what I'm hearing. So, oh, what heavy reading, Capricorn. What heavy, heavy, heavy reading. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> 
let me just have a drink, Capricorn. How you doing? I am sorry for such like such dramatic energy, but me, I mean, me, I find this absolutely fascinating in my head to be able to do it. But it's also very, you know. Anyway, Dale, like something around this, like the Dales, like the Dales, the Dales, the Dale, Dale. Sabaton, what was I hearing? Sabaton, and Sabaton, Dale Sabaton, Sabaton. I'm also hearing Sabatar, also Sabator, T tooth, long tooth tiger, Leo, something to do with saber or sour puss, someone's a sour puss, Leo's, stop being so sour, <laughs> or Sal, the name Sal, Sally Ann, Sal, also I'm picking up, but a sour puss tiger. Oh, a sour puss, sow, bag puss. Uh, I don't know what this is for. Scorpio, Scorpio, sow, Scorpio, four, sour puss, Leo. Libra, Libra, Scorpio, sow, Scorpio, Libra. Yeah, something to do with those energies. Okay, um, here. Yeah, Libra, Scorpio, Leo. So did I say that? Libra, Scorpio, Leo. Somebody's chart is, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. For instance, right, I have a Aquarius in Venus, right? In Venus, that is an eight. So I can watch Aquarius, obviously, but then you watch a, a Leo and you think, that really does represent that because I'm calling out a numerology number, right? So it doesn't matter where it is, definitely within those placements, that when I start channeling these messages, if you're watching a lot of them, where a lot of people have been saying just lately, before I really kind of triggered this all off, is, is that, um, so I'm hearing trigger, uh, you know, I don't know, I keep babbling. Uh, trigger, trig, trig, trick. Trick or treat, Jason, Jason, Julian, Justin, Jasmine, Jay. Trigger, the trigger. So I'm sorry if I'm triggering you off. Uh, Elijah and uh, Elijah's mum. Sorry for like, because uh, you're Capricorn, right? But um, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm kind of probably not helping situations here. Uh, but you did come up. Not, not you, not you. Alchemy and you also, I'm hearing. Al, Steve, Al, and Steve, Allison, Steve and Al, Ray Al's company I used to work for, Capricorn son Steve, partner Tina, Libra, Jan, that's also a J, <coughs> okay, uh, Elijah's mum, sorry that I've been triggering you guys off just lately, um, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Okay. Oh man, this is such a. Again, is this honest? Honest opinion, Capricorn. Please leave a comment. <laughs> is this like helpful, or like? Because I mean, would would you guys want to know? Like, when it comes to things like this, would you want to know? Right. I want to know if he really loves me. I want to know if he really cares. Right. So something about reunion of a husband or a wife or something here of I want to know if he really loves me. I really want to know if he really loves me not. Piscean energy, frayed so frayed not energies. So I really know if I really want to know if he really loves me. Right? Because I'm hearing he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. So to the huge knot here, <laughs> right, which would be a Pisces hangman, well a hangman energy of like do I or do I not? Do I or do I not? Do I, should I, should I not? Coming out of bleak messages, I'm sorry for everybody. There is somebody also here that could well be going through this ultimatum stage within their head of like, well, do I or do I not? Shall I or shall I not? Shall I lie or shall I not lie? Or am I lying to myself? Shall I lie, lie, lie? Lies, yeah. But like, shall I, shall I not? Shall I, shall I not? Shall I, do I, don't I, Libra? Elijah, sort your head out. Okay, but... um. Like, shall I, do I not, shall I, do I not, shall I, yes, right, but shall I, shall I not, shall I, shall I, 
I keep saying shallow, shallow grave, something to do with graves and graves again, man, there's a shallow grave here, something to do with grave site here, grave, 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 brave heart, something to do with a Libra, a uh, uh, Libra, a uh, Leo, brave heart, something to do with heart condition here, heart, heart, I just stayed in your arms tonight, it must have been something you said, I shouldn't walk away, yeah, anybody out there, Honest truth, take this where however you like it, Capricorn. If anybody has got anybody that is very ill in their family, right? This is honest truth. Look at the other reading where I said, uh, I forget what it was, I think it was in a Virgo reading, right? And you'd, you would have to watch Patreon for that. But go and see, go and see these people, right? Because this could be visiting grave sites, visiting people in holiday, uh, on holiday, visiting people... Uh, uh, at places, right, which is a place, which is an old people's house, home, here, it's called a place, right, it's involving a, probably a Piscean somewhere, but it's like, shall I take the children, shall I not, yes, yes, there is something around an older person possibly being in a elderly unit of some kind, because here is called Ascom House, and it is where they have elderly patients with Alzheimer's and things like this, and physically elderly people that cannot look after themselves. It's been coming up if you've been paying attention to my uh, monthly messages, okay? So now we broke this code, it should make it a lot easier and a lot more of a warning sign. If y'all got old people or you got parents or anybody like that in places like that, go and see them. Go and make up, it doesn't matter. Some people do not have a lot of time, and I'm going to be very honest. Some people do not have a lot of time left. If they don't, drop your ego, go and see people, okay? Go and see people. Because I'm going to tell you now, and I don't mean to be forceful, I'm just being honest. You don't, these people, some of these people do not have a lot of time left. So whatever it is, as a human being that you have, drop it. Drop the ego, right? Drop whatever happened as a human. When a spirit passes, you do not want to live in regret. So go and see husband, wife, husband, nan, father, whatever you like. If you have one of those people that's ill, spirit is saying, go now. Go now, stay now, don't dream it's over. Here now, here now. We build a wall between us, you know they don't win. Yeah. God. <laughs> Come back to Earth, Stephen. <laughs> Poor Capricorns that do not watch this reading, right? You can't do anything about it. Whatever you can do to get this video out to people, it's very important. Y'all got if you've got people that are ill, go and see them. Go and see them. Right? Because you won't win. There's something about win. Edwina or weaning, whining. That's what I think I came up with this in the Sagittarius energy. Right? Some people at this time, they're worried about metaphysical connection of love when the, when there are more pressing matters that people have actually passed. But what I did say in that Sagittarius reading was on, on Patreon was around when you look at the energy of loss, right? It doesn't really matter what anybody's going through. Because whether it be love, metaphysical, physical, pain, whatever, people are going through loss, right? People are losing energies, losing the will to live. Oh, okay, energies. Like I said, if you haven't seen my channel before, look at it as Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg. Sometimes I am not con in control of my human body when a spirit gives me messages, right? Look at it like that. Don't look at it at what I say. Look at any action or anything that I ever do. Jackson, Jackie, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, Jason, whatever. Okay, here. Look at the energy here of what it is that I do. Okay, don't look at me as like Steve, right? I don't know people. So don't look at me at Steve. Look at the importance of the message. The importance of the message, right? It's, it's vital. I have to put all of that aside when I do my job, okay? So, 
people that hold me accountable for certain things, that's going to be your own burden to carry because I can assure you it will not be mine. Okay. There's some sort of like regret here. You know, if you don't, you will regret this. Somebody's trying to pay someone back and saying you will regret this. You will regret it. I think you will. I think the person that's saying you're going to regret this, whoever that is, I think it's going to be you that's going to regret it. Oh, wow. Is that me talking to myself? Really? <laughs> what the hell is that? You're going to regret this. You're going to regret it, man. I'm seeing some sort of paradox energy and I also see a spirit that came here as well. <laughs> you're going to regret this. You'll regret it. I don't know if this is a love connection or something. Or remorse or regret. Or Margaret. I'm also hearing the name Margaret. Margarita. Somebody that's uh, Spanish or something. But Margarita. Yeah, hey, Margarita. Hi. <laughs> anyway, Capricorn. Just calm down a second. I've got a new song coming out very soon. I've only just started making it an hour ago, but I just need a drink. Probably can't hear it because I've turned it down because people are like, it's too loud. So we are going to look at your part. Birds never coming through the sky, but uh, anyway, Skyler, Tyler, or so the name Tyler, okay, Tyler, or Skyler, or Sky, okay, but I never see birds coming through the sky. Uh, oh wow, really? Um, and you know how I feel, dreams drifting on by, you know how I feel, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, dawn, the name dawn, or D, anything beginning with D, okay, uh, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. Somebody with uh, around uh, Leo, sun, I'm seeing the sun, the sun. Somebody's left something to their son, like a will or a house or something to their son. <clears throat> they might have a Leo or an Aquarian placement of eight somewhere. But somebody's leaving something to their son, which would be a Leo. Legacy. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so we're going to look at your partner's thoughts and feelings about you, Capricorn, and see. But again, it's going to be very strange because it's also Gemini. <laughs> Capricorn, there you go, six. There you go, it's also a Gemini. So your person sees that they are still very sexually attracted to you, but they see that at the moment, this is a very toxic situation for you guys to be in. There's a lot of things that is going on over one's mind of whether one is also manipulating the person or not, okay? They see the fact that it is also very toxic between you. Uh, they, the, a lot of you individually, you really could be looking at your health. You know, this is in sickness and in health. And it's like I said, there could be somebody that is witnessing that is a six Capricorn or Gemini, witnessing a lot of things around people being very ill through addiction through alcohol, through drugs, anything like that, it's been very important for this person to remain abstinent. Because I'm hearing a silent witness, okay, and something around Simon, or something uh, here around, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say can be given in evidence against you, Debbie. But anything that can be given in evidence against you, someone's against you, against you. Julia, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, but someone's against you here. 
against you, Glen, Glen, the name Glen also, Glen, or someone from Scotland from the Glen, but like, uh, or the name Glen here, but uh, yeah, I'm hearing uh, what again, what really, got to go through this again, I've just done all this once before, and now I've got to go it again, well that's a taskmaster, that's Saturn, so you're like, really, eat, sleep, brave, repeat, or eat, read, or like, really, I've got to do this again, really, I have to do this again, I have to go through all of this crap again, really, because this could be relapse here. Somebody could have relapsed in the energy and said, shit, I can't take these triggers, man. I can't take this shit anymore. Really? What, you relapsed again? You did it again? You told me that you would never do that, and you have. It doesn't have to be yourselves. It can just be someone that you know around you here. They're saying, really? You've done it again? Why did on earth did you go and do that again here? It could be somebody that went off and slept with an X, because X marks a spot can also mean Capricorn energy for me, channel-wise. So that means that, well, really, you went off to an X again, or you went off and you did all of that, Malcolm, the name Malcolm, but um, Malcolm X, or Malcolm, or I went back off to Malcolm, um, Mal, Mal, Mel, also the name Melanie, or Mel, or Melissa, or Maria, or Emily, or Emma, but I went off the rails, this is, I went off the rails. I had a momentary lapse of reason and I went off the rails. If you don't know that, that's this, that is an energy of channel. Somebody went off the rails here. So, uh, rails, there you go, rails. So Steve and Tina, you are watching, right? But, um, you wouldn't say, but you more likely are. But again, Steve here, this could be a Steve and went off the rails. Really, you wouldn't have done that again, did you, Steve? <laughs> but you went off and done that again, did you? Uh, but uh, Julian, but you went off and done that again then, did you? So again, somebody here has been using drugs here and somebody ended up relapsing during a time of, uh, like I said, your channel messages were about strength and courage or Leo that it takes in order to be able to accomplish something in life of abstinence. But this is more AWOL, right? Absence, absence without leave. So AWOL was also, uh, what was his name, the fighter? AWOL um, or a, a Rayal, but like uh, AWOL, absent without leave. John Claw Van Damme, Claudio, 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 you alright Claudio? <laughs> uh, Claudio, uh, sorry, Claudia or Claudio? But um, yeah, Dr. Mix, Dr. Mix, Dr. Mix. Man, I love your show, Dr. Mix. You're not that far from me. <laughs> if you did watch my music that I posted on your channel and you are watching this, <laughs> you might find it very strange, Claudio. But um, here, something to do with... Um, yeah, like I said, somebody could have relapsed in an energy. There could be uh, an illness or something that somebody is fighting here because this can be disease and things like this. So there can be something, well, something that's very infectious anyway, like an infectious disease is what I'm hear, hearing for a lot of you. Uh, but like something that's very infectious, something that's bothering the blood is what I'm hearing also, like um, uh, Suki, uh, which would be uh, bad blood, which was Suki and uh, whatever it was with... Um, the vampire film, something to do with blood, bad blood, something to do with in my blood, my blood systems. I actually had mine done the other day, uh, last week. All my blood was good apart from, well, I heard blood sugar. Someone's got low blood sugar, there you go, low blood sugar. This is diabetes, that's D also. So uh, diabetes, diabetic here. Diabetic is what I'm hearing, diabetic. Okay, I'm also hearing Diane also, Di or Diane or Dana. Okay, Dana White. Okay, someone's very pale because of a blood disease or something. Could be diabetes, could be like low blood sugar. You might have to do a fasting energy here. <laughs> Man, we're going to read your partner in a minute, Capricorn. Some of you might be into fasting because you might have an appointment at the doctor's and you have to do a fast. Right, fast. I'm also hearing here, though, that somebody has like is, is diabetic or very pale and it's like a... I think we went through this before. Somebody that has like white blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, but they are, they're not balanced within a Sagittarian energy. They've got more white blood cells than red blood cells or more red cells than white cells here. I'm also hearing mixed race also, mixed race, somebody, you know, mixed race. Um, I'm definitely hearing Dr. Mix, though. But uh, mix, like mixed, mixing, mixing, blending. Also, Sagittarian energy of five. So Taurus, 
Taurus sounds a terrorist, mixing, blending. Some of you are doing mixing, mastering. There you go, music. That was crap. <laughs> it took me about half an hour to put that together. I'm, I'm going to change it. But um, yeah, mixing, mastering, music, music production, all of that kind of thing. Uh, thing. Stephen King, Stephen, also me. But like uh, the thing, changing, transformation, Scorpio energy, transforming some kind of. Uh, uh, transvest oh, okay I heard transsexual disease or um, yeah so I'm hearing a transsexual disease I'm also hearing the same sex relationship here but uh, I'm definitely hearing something that is uh, trans transvestite transsexual transmitted uh, trans someone's in transition <laughs> but like transition here transition somebody's also going to see a physician here a trans uh, Trans, I keep saying trans. Nans, my nans, my nan, my nan, my nan, my nan, my nan. Somebody's nan. Or Dan, this is a Dan here. This person is a Daniel, or a Dan, or a Danielle, or a Dana, or a Dinah, or something like that. Dinah, 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 Dinah. Die, die. What on earth is that? Dye? Hair dye? <laughs> uh, hair dye. Shall I lie though? Saying something about shall I lie die? Shall I lie die? Shall I just lie down and down? Like, shall I just lie down and die? Somebody could be in physical pain here. And shall I just lie down and die? What? Or is that a song? Lay down and die. Well, that's Gemini, you see. Gemini is at the bottom there. Two lovers. Right? Two lovers. Right? So you've kind of got this energy here of like some mothers do have them, of mothers. Like my mother could be a Gemini energy. But lie down. I need to lie down. Somebody's getting very, very, very exhausted and they feel as if they need to lie down quite, quite a lot. Like, I need to lie down here. Uh, anyway, Capricorn. How does Capricorn's partner think and feel about Capricorn? How does Capricorn's partner think and feel about Capricorn? But you see, because of it, you see, too much love will kill you every time. If somebody is deeply in love with the person, but they just can't seem to get through in or out or away, not that I want to, but you're still karmically connected no matter what you do here. You are addicted. This is verbally addicted, <laughs> right? I'm verbally addicted to something in my life that uh, about speaking or talking, but I am addicted to your love. I'm addicted to what I'm doing. I'm addicted to work. That's not a bad thing, because that's me. Like I said, isn't it? I'm doing a Capricorn reading, but this turns up Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Of course, because I'm a Gemini moon. Six, Capricorn, that's why this is here. Okay, so this is me. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful around what you do, Steve. But uh, here, someone is like addicted to somebody. Your partner loves you. That's how they feel, that they love you. Right? They love the bones of you. But again, I'm hearing like, I love the bones of you. Bones of you? I've got a bone to, oh, okay, I'm hearing, listen, I've got a bone to pick with you. Or a bone apart, right? What, a bone apart? I've got a bone to pick with you, young laddie, lady. Lady Karma, Carmel, Carmel. Carmel or Carmel or Mel? I've got a bone. I've got a bone in my, I've got a bone in my leg. Of course you have got a bone in your leg. <laughs> that might be the leg that got left behind, right? I've got a bone in my leg. Of course you have, unless you've got a bone marrow. Oh, okay. Sorry, bone marrow. Something to do with someone's bone marrow here. Bone marrow. Someone's got very weak bones, very weak bones, and they have a bone marrow condition of bones here. Something, oh, okay. Methadone also. Methadone addiction is seeping through your bones. Methadone does. I don't know what you call it over there. It can be DF118s or whatever, but... Methadone, green liquid, substance of uh, chemist heroin, basically. But uh, yeah, that gets in your bones, right? That'll be a long time before that comes out. So, you know, uh, so what you want is Subutex. 
Subutex was a, a something that they made here also, but where well, whatever it's called in yours, Subutex was a substance that will keep you abstinent from heroin, and uh, it also is a blocker as well. So it stops if you ever do use and stuff like that. It doesn't work, but it gives you a natural ability of the the, the feeling. But it's more natural. This is it's a very good, well-known drug actually. It's called Subutex in Britain, but. Um, it's medication that will, it's better than methadone. Methadone was a green liquid that used to get into your bones and used to take months, like it could take months and months and months and months and months to be able to physically get clean from that because that seeps into your bones. So they made Subutex. So I am hearing that, Subutex or text, text. Um, but uh, yeah, Subutex. I'm also hearing naltrexone as well. Naltrexone, they made that as well. Naltrexone. Um, but pff, some of you, like I said, y'all like, I want you now. <laughs> I want you now. I want your love. It just doesn't matter where it comes from. I just want it, <laughs> right? I want sex. <laughs> this reminds me of a thing I watched with a person that was absolutely tripping their nut off. And this poor kid on Yuzu. And he was tripping his nut off, man. And he was like... I just want to fuck a girl. And he was talking to the coppers and he was like, Why? no, no, leave me alone. I just want to fuck a girl. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm hearing Michael, or also Michael, Michelle. Well, like, I just want to fuck a girl. <laughs> and he was telling this to the coppers. <laughs> it was like, hey, man, you're like, you're 16 and then you're sitting on a, on a, like, on a park bench, like tripping your nut off and you want to fuck a girl? You want to sort your life out, young man? <laughs> well, like, I'm sure nobody really wants to go near you while you're tripping your nut off, just shouting that out in the middle of the street. Right? I want to fuck a girl. Yeah, but you do. <laughs> right, but um, I want to be, a, I'm hearing I want to be a girl. I want to be a girl. <laughs> well, I want to be a girl. Or like girls who love boys, who love girls, who love boys. Always should be someone you really love. Girls who love boys, who love girls. Someone loves boys and girls. <laughs> Just put it that way. Girls on top, Ruby. So they name Ruby or Ruben, awesome. But like Ruby Wax, girls on top. But somebody doesn't mind whether they have it at the top or bottom. <laughs> this is Jim Morrison. <laughs> Backdoor man, right? Somebody doesn't mind, right? It's, no, don't, don't, I'm not, sorry, don't, please don't ever take anything personally. Trust me, I'm a guy with women, but <laughs> anything goes, right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, Capricorn, you've kind of got this like, uh, well, anywhere the wind blows, anywhere the wind blows, someone's blowing on a chuffing on a Piscean. <sighs> Pisces, just blow you. Someone's blowing or chuffing a Piscean or like blowing someone's trumpet. I don't know, I'm hearing judgment though. But anyway, your partner, again, loves you. What's the problem? Nothing. Y'all guys should be together. And if you're not, it's because someone's like receiving the karmic energy, which is I can't get over it. I can't get over the shock. I can't get over the substance. I can't run from my karma. I can't get away from the person. Why the hell is it that two magnets keep pulling me back together to do the same thing? Because it's hard calling. Right? Job. Funny money. Funny money. Funny money. Someone could be into funny money. But like uh, earning money. Again, addictive, right? An energy of a polar, two magnets that keep bringing each other together, but you just can't seem to like connect, right? You can't run from it. No matter which way you turn or which way you ever run, whether it be a witch or a bruja or whatever, the strongest thing that you will ever connect with is your karma. And it is one thing that gets put into your head that you may not even know of natural law of attraction of why it ends up that you keep manifesting the same thing. Because any soulmate can be designated whether a mother, a father, a child, or a person that keeps putting themselves in front of someone's eyes. So they'll, re they'll remind you, and you're like, oh man, I keep trying to get over my ex, but then all of a sudden, does somebody keep bringing up my relationship? And every time they do, do I hear that person's name, and suddenly, suddenly, life has no meaning to me, but I tell you what, I keep thinking about that same person, and why is that? Spirit. If I am a spirit, you're a spirit, and everybody is going on up to the spirit in the sky, then what is a spirit? Everybody, right? So you just cannot ever avoid life or death or a connection of polar within north and also uh, north and south nodes, right? You can't. Someone's got nodes, nodes. Like, uh, what is that? Nodes, nodes. Like adenoids or nodes or nose, 
something to do with someone's nose. Nose. Somebody's got piercing in their nose. Oh, sorry, I just, I really do not like piercings on people. <laughs> I really don't. Or the name Pearsons or Parsons or Pearson. But like, uh, I'm hearing the Paul McCartney reference was meow, <laughs> uh, which was my friend Kitty. Kitty, Kitty. She got to uh, bells on her fingers and something in her nose here. Um, yeah. Something's in my nose. Well, it could be cocaine. <laughs> it could be cocaine going up that. I don't know. Something's going up a hole anyway. Or, oh, wow, man, that is so tactless. Anyway, let's let's see how Capricorn's partner thinks and feels about Capricorn. See, heartbroken. Heart, I just stay in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said that rubbed me up the wrong way. I bet it did as well, rubbed me up the wrong way. So you just came over, you give me a rubbing, like a tree bark, or the name Barker or Baker. You came over, you rubbed yourself up against me, but then I, you seemed to like left something behind. Which is natural witches, which means you left something behind and now all I do is manifest you back into my life by smelling it. It's not a spell. If somebody smells someone's pillow or they go over nostalgic letters and memories, it's also natural witchcraft. It isn't witchcraft. What it means is the fact that it's spirit getting somebody to go through the senses of a human is what they do. They go back to their house of astrology that goes through natural smell, taste, touch, ability in order to do something to manifest a person back into their life. The human experience thinks that it's the human that's doing it. The metaphysical crazy lot think that it's a person doing witchcraft, unless you've seen it, <laughs> right? But, and I mean physically walks into a house and you've opened the door and people are chucking piss to a fire and they're doing witchcraft. If you've seen that, don't never listen to like word of mouth, right? Very important to keep one's mind intact with oneself, <coughs> right? Here, but natural ability of what comes up for a lot of people is the natural ability to manifest itself back into itself of an energy, which is spirit, which means that I go back to being a human. I go back to the old routine. I get up in the morning, I end up thinking about the person whilst having breakfast. Whilst having breakfast, I smell my pillow. I smell things in the house or the home that you was in that naturally get me to think of that I can't forget. When people leave, they leave behind a legacy of stuff that I can't forget. Feelings, spirit. So if it is a physical human being of breakup, there are things that somebody has left behind that ends up going through the taste, touch, smell situation that is a spell. So it either is a spell, and that's up to you, y'all believe whatever you like, right? But the greatest healing energy of all, like I said in that video that is on the, on the community tab, is, is death. Why is that? Because it is light. We're in purgatory. We are physically here in hell now, paying back our karma of society, work, money, stress, religion, you know, people of different ethnicity and God knows what else, people that are in different relationships, same sex, whatever. We're all the same, we're all cut from the same cloth biblically. We're all cut from the same cloth, right? So if we are, and we're all in hell, then what's the greatest source of energy that ever really gives you it? Heaven, right? Your karma, your karmic walk down towards your rising. The proof is in the pudding. You prove it as you're there, and you prove that the healing energy is really dying. So what do people are afraid of, <laughs> right? But again, here is, is that there's some kind of uh, energy of people manifesting what they believe to be something, but really what that is is just spirit putting it in people's heads, which means that somebody could be smelling something of someone's pillow or clothes or like reminiscing on certain things, and uh, it's bringing back memories, but that's why it's temptation. Because it can also be like people that are like hazing and juicing and doing God knows what else, or seeing things and uh, God knows what else, and it's making them do like the you walk into a boozer in a pub and you're a gambler and you look at all the flashing lights that are on a goddamn like fruit machine, and suddenly before you know it, you're like, Well, I've just bought myself a beer, <laughs> right? And I've just got myself all the name Beer or Rob Chapman or Beer or Chappie or Chappers or Chapman or Steve. 
But again, I've just now got myself, like some money, this person probably just get out and they're just lapsed here. Drink alcohol here. Um, but yeah, you know, you go into a boozer, you buy yourself a drink and you've got some change, you're like, oh, I'm just going to go over to the fruit machine and pile all of this stuff in there, right? Flashing lights and stuff, right? Somebody here is epileptic also, epilepsy. Um, yeah, so what we've done, nearly an hour, Capricorn, sorry. I know there aren't much, much informative messages there, but I do have to leave some surprises for people that pay. So uh, if you want to join Patreon, you can. This is only really supposed to be for Patreon members. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, I'm going to look at your 14th until the 21st to give you whatever messages there are. Get slightly more serious with the energy of tarot. Uh, if you are over there, there is a plethora of readings that you will be able to have because they are all over there. It does what it says on its stand. It's all included. Uh, there is also, after this one, it will only go to Patreon. The last week of the month only goes to Patreon. So whatever messages there are or whatever reading I decide to do for everybody, each sign, it will only be over on Patreon for the last week. Uh, so you may not see a weekly over on here. <coughs> uh, but any support is very much welcome. Thank you. Uh, the video tells you everything about Patreon below anyway, if you want to watch before you have joined or if you do or don't. Uh, please make sure you check out the community tab of the video that I did around Ascension and it's very important in the Akashic Records and time. Uh, also Angel Radio, if you like Angel Radio there's another channel that is also provided below in the show more section that says Angel Radio, free music, dance music, hypno music, all kinds of music, soft music, upsetting music, fast music, dance music, trance music, any kind of music there is, I am the music man. So if you want, if you want to have a look you can, it is in the link provided below. Anything else, Capricorn, but you can find whatever you like in the show more section. But don't forget that I'm going to do your full spread, clarify them, but then the last week will only be over on Patreon. Okay, and then if not, I shall see you next time. But thank you very much, Capricorn or Gemini, and uh, I will see you uh, very soon.